Institute of Information Technology. The first match of the day in a very strong dominating manner. The scoreline had read 270 is to 100. Thereby, they were able to defeat Brack Vishwakarna Institute of Information Technology by a huge margin of 170 points. And hence, they will be looking to carry on that women momentum that they had achieved in the first match of the day. We'll have to wait and watch as to how that pans out. But against UV Patel College of Engineering, Ganpat University, it would be fair enough to say to a certain extent that Pimpri Chinchuat College of Engineering Pune have the momentum of the victory with them. And that can be an added advantage to any team's mental morale when they approach the next game and look at moving into the next game. Because what kind of mental setup you are coming from, what kind of conviction, willpower and approach you have towards the game makes a very huge difference in how the results come out in, fav in your favour or against you. And we'll have to wait over here, Akshay, to see whether the win that Pimpri Chinchwad got the first thing in the morning today in the first match, whether they are able to carry on that momentum or whether they finally face a defeat at the hands of their opponents. Well, Sakshi, they started off well and they would like to keep the momentum in their favour. But just a thought that has been lurking in my mind uh, looking at this uh, brilliant uh, tournament. We'll get back to that during the break. But uh, good start there with the whistle there. Team in red, Pimpri Chinchuar carrying on the momentum, successfully picking up the rice seedlings there and placing beautifully with ease and clinical precision. Look at that for execution as far as the plantation zone is concerned. They are a delight to watch Sakshi. Even in the first match, the opening match of the day, we saw that they accumulated maximum points there and already within 30 seconds of it, they are roughly... I, let me see, it is 80 points already in their kitty and going to pick up the last remaining four seedlings from the rack. Immediately comes back and beautiful angle there, turning around and creating that space. And uh, team in blue is uh, rather seem to be struggling here, which is uh, UV Patel College of Engineering, Ganpati University. And, uh, but it's a good learning curve for them also. They are new and nascent. They are new participants in the tournament. Obviously, someone like Pimpri Chinchwar has a lots and lots of years and years of experience in Robocon. They have seen one problem statement after another and uh, they're well versed with the situation. They can handle the pressure better and also coming into your second match after the victory obviously does wonders to your confidence. So <coughs> Pimpri Chinchwar looking really, really good and good throw there from the autonomous robot and now they'll be picking up the rope. Red one, already three balls into the throwing zone, into the area number three, accumulating maximum points. And look at that, their autonomous robot has already put in two into the silos, so accumulating 60 big major points there. It's going to be high scoring, and I'm sure what they scored, 270 in, the, in their opening match against them. Now they will be much higher scoring. Well, whether they go on to uh, actually break the score that they made in the first match or not is another story. But as long as they're able to secure a win, which right now looks very, very possible and highly going around in the favor of actually Pimpri Chinchuat College of Engineering Pune, they should be happy with the fact that they were able to secure a victory by a very big margin against the opponents, which was UV Patel College of Engineering, Ganpat University in this case. And we have five balls out there, which means... 150 points straight in favor of Brack Vishwakarma, sorry, in favor of Pimpri Chinchuat College of Engineering Pune. And along with that, they've also, let's not forget, planted those seedlings in the right spots, which also will get added to the points. And the balls seem to just be accumulating. And right now, that number has gone up to six and now seven in the stylos. So, seven balls in the silos. What good shot aiming by their robot over there, the autonomous robot, performing some stupendous shots showing some great skill and efficiency and finally the eighth ball oh my god this is a huge 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 total that Pimpri Chinchuat College of Engineering Pune has put up now possibly bigger than the first victory that they had but this was a very convincing 
dominating victory that we witnessed from Pimpri Chinchwad. UV Patel College of Engineering nowhere in the match over here against Pimpri Chinchwad College of Engineering Pune. But for them being the first timers, much to learn from the senior teams that have shown the experience also and made that experience talk on days when it matters to most matters the most as a matter of fact moving forward we are pretty sure that uv patel 